Hello, Floss 2. This is Keys Made by Heather. No, I'm not a locksmith. I make things in the keys. This is Floss Tube number two. I'm going to be showing bags and whips and at the end my first cross stitch pattern, so stay tuned. Today we're in my studio where it all happens and you're looking at my first ever bag A Place for Everything 2.0 by Annie. 17 page pattern. Yeah, ambitious again. It's got straps on the top. It's got a hanging strap. This is the front, and this zipper opens, and it opens into a book almost. It's really awesome. It's got, it's got Velcro to keep everything together. There's pages that come out with vinyl. I learned so much making this bag. And inside it, because it's all Tula, I keep my Tula paper piece project that I started. This is a picture of it that I had to take because I made it up. So I got to remember how I did it. So that is A Place for Everything 2.0. It's so beautiful. I really love it. But it was, it was instrumental in my bag making because this one, to start with that, yeah, okay. So I did it. <laughs> Now my second bag, it's a first attempt at a project bag for cross stitch. And I used Lori Holt fabric because I love it. I quilted the back part, you know, see how pretty, I love it. But what I didn't do is I didn't quilt the front or line it. So the inside, you know, it's lined, but this isn't, it's just the fabric. So. It's a little flimsy. I mean, I like it, but that's not, it's my first attempt. And it is, what size is this? 12 inches square. I just made a 12 inch square. So that's that one. My second attempt is a different style based on a mesh diving bag that I make down here in the Keys for a coral restoration. And I used that pattern that I made up and I did this one in sewing fabric. So it was just one big piece that I quilted, you know, and had both sides. And then I just put a zipper on the ends. And I have a cute little zipper pull from Fat Quarter Shop. It says Quilt Shop. And it's okay, but it's not big enough either. And it's, I, I do use it, but it's a little too small for a piece of paper. And that's what I base it on now. The size of a piece of paper inside a plastic sleeve is what my goal is. Next, I tried again, but it's still too small. I like the fabric. It's a, it's a um, batik sewing themed fabric and I just I had some extra stuff and I just kind of threw it together and then of course this is by Cappy Holden my jewelry here it says sewist okay so that was the next one still not a perfect size it's uh, 12 by 11 so I really wanted to make something bigger so <laughs> This is bigger, right? That's a nice size. That is 15 inches by 11. And I attached fabric to the zipper, like a, you know, and you can see I'm, I'm the, still learning things. But this one, I attached fabric to the quilted piece. I quilted that whole piece. And then I added the fabric to make it longer. So I don't know why I couldn't just get it long enough. This one's a little bit too big, but it's, I do, I love this. This actual size is very good. And then another Kathy Holden jewelry. So cute, little tomato. All right. Then I went ginormo. <laughs> I figured I'll make a bag to hold the other bags. 
So this one is 19 inches by 17 and a half. And I learned this style by watching a YouTube video by Jen Crafts Floss Tube number 23. It's a tutorial on vinyl project bags. So I just, I took her style and I used my own measurements to make it huge. And I love this fabric, so I thought that would be perfect for the back. Oh, and it is quilted. I quilted it. And it's really pretty. But I don't have anything in here right now because I have other... I had something in here, but I'm going to use it. Next, because I watched that video, I got... I made this size, which is... 14 by 11 and I made four of them this size. I kept one and I gave three away to stitchy friends but this is all leftover tropical fabric from uh, all the mitts and placemats and things like that that I make so and then this is also another Kathy Holden fabric only scissors <laughs> yeah and this one I lined, so it's it's like two pieces of fabric are folded. I did her her technique, and so this one I it's like okay, all right, I like that one. But then I wanted handles, like the Biani handles, so I made this one out of Lori Holt fabric. And I was so excited to get my handle on there that I didn't put, well, I put the strapping, but I didn't sew it, you know, like the stitches on the side. So I just, I was like, well, at least I finished it. But it's really cute. It's in her fabric. And I'll show you what's in here later. This size is 15 by 11. So I think this is the perfect project bag size, 15 by 11. So, I needed a Christmas bag, so I used the same size, and I used Lori Holt's fabric. And this is another Kathy Holden zipper pull. I put it on because it matched. I don't have a Christmas one. But I love this fabric. I make gingerbread cookies every year. I make a house that falls down. It's hilarious. So, I needed a Christmas bag. And this worked out. But I don't like to put binding, okay? I've done it. I can do it. It's not my favorite. So I wanted to make one that was without binding. Oh, and see how this, you got to be careful with your vinyl because I don't even know what that is that got stuck on there, but it doesn't come off. Then I needed a Halloween bag. So this size, let me see is it's a new idea what I did it's 15 by 12 and what I did was I put it together by sewing it right sides together and then I surged the seams at first I put fray check and that wasn't enough and then I was like you know what I have a surgery let me just surge the end because this way I have more girth there, you know more things can fit in here because it's not uh, super flat. Um, and this fabric is uh, twilight something. It's, it's really cute. And I just, and this time I add it because I keep making them too small. I don't know why I was doing that. So I said, you know what? I'm gonna put a piece of fabric on the other side and just make it the size I need because I cut it too small. But that's a really cute Halloween bag. And I'm happy with that style. But I settled on this style. This is also like the mesh bag, but it's bigger. It is, how much is, 14 by 13 inches. I just quilted one big piece and then attached a zipper to each end, surged the inside, inside seams, and this is my favorite one. I love the fabric. This is a, a Christmas fabric. I, oh, forgive me. I love her stuff. I ordered this from her website, her fabrics. So I can make panel bags. Instead of putting a vinyl in the front, I'll make a panel of one of the characters. 
I need a zipper pull for this. I don't have Christmas ones. And then, just a little bonus, I have these that I got Missouri Star Fancy Zips. And I wanted to try them, so I made this one, which is generally the same idea, one big piece, but I didn't quilt it. But see how you attach the zipper is different you have to sew it from the top so you see the pretty design super cute and this one just has it has no zipper pull but that's cute and I'm not sure what size this one is 11 by 8 so little notions can fit in here and this one I really like this was using their pattern on their website showing about the fancy zips and so it's two pieces of fabric two fat quarters actually okay and then you just make the gusset on the bottom so this will stand up <laughs> now we can see what's in some of these bags for example this one oh another kathy holden i love her stuff look how cute that is in this bag is Gloss bitties, some glasses, of course, because you always use those. And these things to start my flosses. So, this and all my floss bitties. Floss bitties. I love those from fabric from Fat Quarter Shop. So, that sits next to my chair. Lots of, lots of stuff. All right. So, in this bag. Because it doesn't really fit a pattern so well, it's not so big. I have my cross stitch book for next year. I'm gonna put the cover of this year's one on it when I'm done with it. But this is next year's, I have some in there. And all uh, floss, floss things that I've used that I still have floss on. They're all in here, so it sits next to my chair in case I need a color that is not on what I'm doing. Then I dip into this floss bag. That's my floss bag. That's what's next to me. And then, let me see. And then I made this bag, the Lori Holt bag, for Vintage Housewife, because that's what's in here. It's a So Long by Lori Holt of Be in My Bonnet. And I can show you where I'm at. I got the floss keeper oh and I also make my own little bitty boards to go inside so I got my floss and my needle minder from vintage housewife all in there and the thread keep and I started in January and this is where I'm at let me get a board I changed the colors because purple is my favorite color and there's never purple in her stuff but that's what we're supposed to do I'm the boss of my own cross stitch right Lori <laughs> so um I'm gonna finish the these and then I'll do the gingham oh, the gingham is really fun but I want to get the little vignettes done and then continue so that is what is in that bag and I will continue, I will finish, but little by little. It's still in the rotation. Okay, next, my Christmas bag has Silent Night by Stitching with the Housewives. This is Silent Night, that's what it's gonna look like. And right now I have the letters done and the church. I did all the white in the middle there that I could get done. Sorry, it's got some fuzzies on it. Alright, well, anyways, that's how far I've gotten, and I will finish it next year, I'm sure. I will continue it, but it's not going to be finished this year. So, and I even considered just leaving the bottom part off and just doing the snowflakes, but the bottom part is so cute. It's got, uh, 
farm animals and trees and trucks and really cute stuff. So, thank you, Stitching with the Housewives. I'll continue with that one. So, that's in the Christmas bag. And, in my Halloween bag, I have Autumn Spice by Fat Quarter Shop. This is what it's going to look like. It's in their uh, Stitch Quarterly Club. I'm not in the club, but I bought the pattern after. And it's really cute. My mom's going to love it, so you better not watch this. So that's where I am so far. I like to outline and then fill in. It's a lot easier. And those, this really took me some time here to get this pattern going. But once you get it going, then it's good. So that's how far I am on that one. And also in this bag is Aspetendo Halloween by Crochet Agogo. Accents on the end. Go, go. And I had a piece of fabric that was only this big. So I reworked the pattern. If you notice, the 31 is down here. Mine is going to be up here. Because I took out I took out the ghost and I took out something else. So it'll just be the bottom part because I didn't have enough. So. And you can tell I didn't have enough. Because of the way this is. So I got the Halloween spooky supposed to go up here. I love the boots. They came out so good. And then the October 31st. And then this is a house. This is pumpkins. This is the witch's brew thing. And this is another little vignette. But I didn't have enough. So, but I had just enough fabric to get it. I just, when I, I took that bottom part off, I had just enough fabric. And I fray checked the end the edges so I didn't surge and lose more so this is gonna be done next Halloween but I love it it's gonna be so gorgeous okay so that's Espatando Halloween by Crochet Agogo and then the last one I have in here is which Beulah's in here somewhere where is she? Here we go. By finally a farm girl. Witch Beulah. She's so cute. I made one for my mom. And now I'm making one for me. Finally a farm girl. She's got really, really cute patterns. Okay. And I even got the... I ordered from her website... You know that you that they print, it prints out on paper and then I put them back to back and and use the laminator so I can make my own. I'm not going to continue making these because I don't do that well. But anyways, that's what's in the Halloween bag. And let's see what's next. Okay, if language offends you, you need to mute it right now because my next pattern has some offensive language in it in this bag. I love this bag. I made this bag just for this Christmas stitch. And this is for my husband. And it is yippee ki motherfucker. <laughs> I didn't know if I was going to say it, but I did. This is by Stitchman Darcy. And it is based from the movie Die Hard, which is considered a Christmas movie by very many people. And I already have it the thread, the floss, and the fabric. Oops. I didn't pick them up, huh? No, the, the flosses are still loose in here. Okay. Let's see, I did the inside and it's pretty boutique. So this is the fabric, which is 14 count. Everything I do is on 14 count. That's why I haven't said anything. Uh, what count? This is um, oatmeal from Lori Holt. 14 count. So that's what I'm going to do. yippee ki -yay on. Alright. So that is that. 
And then I have two little finishes here to show you. This one I showed last time, but now it is fully finished. And the pillow. This is Silver Creek Samplers. I just did the bottom part there. It's a really nice pattern, but it's big. And I just, I wanna do the whole thing, but I really wanted this part done for Christmas. So I finished it with Mary Inglebright fabric and just a envelope stuffed a pillow form in there so I can change it. But that's my Christmas pillow. And I like to quilt them. I like the front part to be quilted when I make pillows. So they look pretty. Okay. That is that one. And my last cross stitch that is not mine is Por Favor Silver Creek Samplers. This is for my daddy for Christmas. And I have to finish, fully finish it. I'm, I'm going to try and finish it on a wine, like a round thing. We'll see. But I think that came out really, really cute. Yes, we love wine. Okay. So, last but not least, I am humbled to have had my quilt, my Florida Keys, displayed at the Houston International Quilt Festival last weekend. So super exciting. So exciting. But I couldn't get there. So I'm very thankful for Stephanie at Quilting with Stephanie Stitches because she walked by it filming at the end and it's over her shoulder. So happy I got to see it. So I had the idea of stitching little seams from the quilt in cross stitch and I have two fully done and in my Etsy shop. And this is what they look like. The first one is manatee. It has two manatees and water swirling and the grass they eat and a little starfish. And uh, I made up the border, I made up everything. This one is Christ of the Abyss, which is in John Pennycamp Park, if you come down to the Keys, and you can see him on a coral, uh, just with his arms raised, just, oh, it's so beautiful. And he's standing on coral, so there's fishies around him. And then the next one, these two are already charted and on, let's see. But in this bag, my, my favorite beauty bag, bag, I have the third one, which is, he's not finished yet, but lionfish. They are beautiful, but they are an invasive species in the Keys. So every year we have lionfish rodeos where everybody goes out and tries to scoop up as many as you can. There's special hooks and all this and there's lots of recipes. They're yummy. So they're really gorgeous. I had to do them, but they are not supposed to be here. So anyways, and then also in here, oh yeah, I want to do these. I love this. She inspires me so much. Kathy from Hands on Design. That's so cute. Totally my style. So, but I'm using my design from the quilt for each animal because the quilt, wow, I can't even show you because it's not here. <laughs> it's not here. It's in Houston. That's so awesome. But anyway, so that's what I've been up to. If, uh, I hope you like, I hope you like them. Let me know if anyone is interested in my project bags on Etsy. And, uh, that's about it. I will, there's going to be six to nine more of these. And this board is from Bells, Beals, however you say it. It was like, what, $9.99? And I still have the plastic pieces on it, so I don't mess it up because I'm moving it. But the lionfish will be here. And then I will change them out when I do the next ones. And eventually I will have a big one with all of them in there. And I'll pick a border for that. So thank you for watching. Um, like, subscribe, all the things. And I'll see you next time. Bye.